my name is Andor, and I perform music under the name Logos, and I designed the Cyborg. I started making electronic music uh, in 2000. I was working at Moog Music, calibrating synthesizers, and we were they were just coming out with the Taurus bass pedals, which are sort of like organ pedals. And I thought, you know, wouldn't it be cool to make a synthesizer organ? I started to talk to John about it because we had done some other work together. He was really extensively involved in the, the planning of it. We wanted to make it, you know, this electronic and uh, organic hybrid in a way, um, sort of like what would a futuristic pipe organ from an alternate universe look like. Because it's not actually using pipes to generate the sound, it's all electronic, the pipes use light. I'm Joel Horn and I make kinetic and electronic art. I ran into Joel at a party and he immediately came up with the idea of the infinity mirrors. There's lights inside the mirrors that are sandwiched between a two-way mirror and a one-way mirror, and so whenever they come on, the, the light bounces into infinity. The amount of chaos that appears in the lights, as well as the speed of the rotation of those lights, is all based on the audio levels. I programmed all that in C, uh, and I'm using a, a light Uino, or two light Uinos, based on, uh, on Arduinos. One system is controlling the right half, and one's controlling the left half. I was very excited about that. I got him to sign on, and then I think it was probably the next time I saw him that I was like, you know, actually, there's this other little project, which is the pipes. I didn't know about the pipes. I guess Andor knew all about the pipes. Basically lured him in with one project and then gave him a much more complicated project. The pipes came up, and so made those into big, giant uh, spectrum analyzers. I brought Phil in also. I got him to do the, the panels, uh, again with this sort of predicament of having to, to squeeze it all within a three quarter inch space. It's all in the layout, it's in the preparation, it's in the measuring, it's, it's getting everything figured out. I thought what he designed was great. I had about a month to get this done before I was leaving. I had shows booked all the way out to, to Burning Man. And I did a series of performances where like each piece of it was getting added. So there was like quite a few sleepless nights. At one point, probably 10 people uh, here soldering uh, LEDs. We had teams of people uh, helping with the soldering because there's close to a thousand lights, probably 800 or plus lights just inside the pipes. It turned into this, this massive like work party thing for the last few weeks. Lots of pizzas were ordered and lots of all-nighters and lots of coffee. And we realized at one point that we couldn't make it one solid unit like we originally planned because it was too heavy. Nobody was going to be able to move it around by themselves. You know, one of the concepts I had about it was it has to be able to be broken down and set up by one person. If he was going to go out and perform with this thing as an autonomous unit, then it had to be something he could load into a van by himself. definitely like, whoa, what is that factor? And then the lights come on and they, you know, they see me playing with the theremin and it just becomes this very multi-sensory experience. I love it when people are dancing. I love when there's a big crowd and everyone's really excited by the music. It's really easy just to like grab a knob and start twisting and changing the sound or, you know, I do a lot of dancing with the theremin. In the past, I've done sort of the, the DJ thing where I'm playing tracks I wrote, but more or less just DJing my own material, and that was just never satisfactory. There's still parts that are not live, but having the ability to manipulate those things live and play the keyboards and, and really engage the dance through the, with the theremin and the, the foot pedals and everything is just kind of brings like a whole new energy to the live performance. Thank you.